okay hi everyone so today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem so it says a block of mass small m sliding on a smooth horizontal surface with a velocity v meets a long horizontal spring fixed at one end and having a spring constant k as shown in the figure find the maximum compression of the spring will the velocity of the block be same as v when it comes back to the original position shown fine so is tarah se aapko diagram de rakha hai this is the block of mass small m moving with a velocity v towards the spring of a spring constant k on a on a smooth horizontal surface so ye jo surface hai ye smooth hai so friction force between the block and the surface will be zero so as you can see the block is uh, moving towards the spring so at uh, one point of time the block will come in contact with the spring right so let me define this position as uh, x is equal to x right so let me define my x axis is tarah se main apni x axis define karta hu and uh, x is equal to 0 when the block uh, you know just touches the spring now as you can see the block is uh, moving towards the spring so the block will further move towards the spring and it will compress the spring so let me draw the free body diagram of the block at any general position x kisi general position pe jab aap is block ka free body diagram banaoge to kitne forces lag rahe hain ek to iska weight lagega vertically downward and there will be a normal reaction to balance the weight of the block and there will be force from the spring in the backward direction aap dekho kitna force hoga k into x uh, because uh, uh, when the uh, you know block is uh, at uh, x is equal to x kisi general position pe hoga x pe then the compression in the spring will be x right uh, the spring will be compressed by x when the block will be at uh, x fine so the force exerted by the spring on the block will be kx in the backward direction so you can see the net force on the block is in the backward direction right and the block is moving towards right is is direction mein velocity hai and is direction mein acceleration hai acceleration kitna hoga net force upon mass kx by m so we can say that the block is retarding right the speed of the block will kept on decreasing with time and at uh, one point of time or you can say at uh, maximum compression in the spring the speed of the block will become zero there will be a point when the speed will become zero and uh, at that particular time the compression in the spring will be maximum so we have to find out that x max right jahan pe speed zero ho jayega and uh, the compression in the spring will be maximum so you can see that uh, we can solve this problem by newton's laws of motion or we can also solve this problem by work energy theorem so let's see you know let's solve uh, this problem by both the methods one by one so newton's laws of motion se kaise kar sakte hain dekho aapko acceleration pata hai it's a variable acceleration acceleration is equal to minus of kx by m you have to take a minus sign because the direction of acceleration is in the negative direction hai na leftward mein aapka acceleration hai so you have to write acceleration as v dv by dx and uh, simply integrate it के एक्स बाई एम नाउ डी एक्स को इस तरफ ले जाओ एंड इंटीग्रेटेड फ्रॉम एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट इनिशियल पोजिशन पे आपका जो ब्लॉक था वो मूव कर रहा था विथ अवेलोसिटी वी सो एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी कैन से द स्पीड ऑफ द ब्लॉक वॉज वी एंड एट द फाइनल पोजिशन राइट द ब्लॉक वॉज एट एक्स मैक्स द पोजिशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक वॉज एक्स एक्स मैक्स एंड द स्पीड ऑफ द ब्लॉक वॉज जीरो सो do the integration v square by 2 from v to 0 that is equal to minus of k by m x square by 2 from 0 to x max so check karo ye kitna aa raha hai uh it's minus of v square by 2 that is equal to minus of k by m into x max square by 2 so ye minus cancel ho jayega 2 bhi cancel ho jayega what is the value of x max that is equal to under root m by k into v सो so, इस तरह से हम निकाल सकते हैं ओके okay, अब वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम की बात करते हैं सो वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम से इज दैट वर्क डन बाय ऑल द फोर्सेस इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी नाउ हाउ मेनी फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग ऑन द ब्लॉक आर थ्री फोर्सेस एम जी नॉर्मल रिएक्शन एंड देर इज अ फोर्स बाय स्प्रिंग दैट इज स्प्रिंग फोर्स सो यू कैन सी दैट वर्क डन बाय नॉर्मल एंड वर्क डन बाय एम विल बी जीरो सो वर्क कौन करेगा दैट इज स्प्रिंग फोर्स सो वर्क डन बाय द स्प्रिंग फोर्स is equal to change in kinetic energy of the block and what is the work done by the spring force that is minus of change in elastic potential energy of the spring because 
दिस स्प्रिंग फोर्स इज अ कंजर्वेटिव फोर्स दैट इज डेल्टा के और यहाँ से क्या आएगा दैट इज डेल्टा के प्लस डेल्टा यू ई दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट एज डेल्टा ई इज इक्वल टू जीरो डेल्टा ई क्या है चेंज इन मैकेनिकल एनर्जी यू कैन सी कैनेटिक प्लस पोटेंशियल को हम मैकेनिकल एनर्जी भी डिफाइन करते हैं इन कम्बाइंड फॉर्म सो वी कैन से दैट द मैकेनिकल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम विल बी कंजर्व नाउ मैकेनिकल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम मीन्स सिस्टम क्या है आपका दिस ब्लॉक प्लस दिस स्प्रिंग इसका जो मैकेनिकल एनर्जी है ये जो सिस्टम है इसका मैकेनिकल एनर्जी कंजर्व होगा बिकॉज ओनली कंजर्वेटिव फोर्सेज आर डूइंग वर्क फाइन सो आप देखो किस तरह से हम निकाल सकते हैं इनिशियल मैकेनिकल एनर्जी विल भी इक्वल टू फाइनल मैकेनिकल एनर्जी अभी इनिशियल मैकेनिकल में क्या आएगा इनिशियल काइनेटिक प्लस इनिशियल पोटेंशियल ऑफ द स्प्रिंग दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइनल काइनेटिक प्लस फाइनल पोटेंशियल सो इनिशियल की मैं बात करूं सो इनिशियली द ब्लॉक वॉज मूविंग विद द वेलोसिटी वी सो कैनेटिक एनर्जी हाफ ऑफ एम इन टू वी स्क्वायर एंड द स्प्रिंग वॉज इन इट्स नेचुरल लेंथ सो इनिशियल जो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी है वो जीरो होगी नाउ फाइनल कंडीशन क्या है फाइनल कंडीशन इज समथिंग लाइक दिस द स्प्रिंग हैज मैक्सिमम कंप्रेशन एक्स मैक्स राइट एंड द स्पीड ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज जीरो सो फाइनल कैनेटिक एनर्जी विल बी जीरो एंड द U that is the potential energy half of k into x max का square. So from here also you can calculate the value of x max half cancel हो जाएगा It will be under root of m by k into v, right? That is the value of x max. So इस तरह से भी निकाल सकते हो Fine. और uh, क्या पूछा है इसने uh, Will the velocity of the block uh, be same as v when it comes back to the original position? Of course नहीं होगा आप देखो what will happen? Uh, once uh, the you know block has compressed the spring, once uh, there is maximum uh, compression in the spring, now what will happen? Still uh, the block will accelerate in the backward direction, right? Acceleration of the block will still remain in the backward direction because uh, the spring is still compressed, so it will still push the block in the backward direction with a force of kx. so now what will happen once the block comes to rest it will start accelerating in the backward direction aur ye accelerate karta hua wapas dekho kis tarah se hoga piche ki taraf move karega aur iska jo speed hai backward direction mein increase hoga and this will be the condition when the block will finally leave the contact with the spring and spring will again come to its natural length and the block will move in the backward direction with the same uh, speed right same speed se move karega but it is asking for the velocity and uh, velocity has uh, speed and direct uh, sorry magnitude and direction so direction is opposite speed will be same ab dekho agar hum speed ki baat kare so again by using the you know conservation of mechanical energy initial mechanical energy is equal to final mechanical energy so agar initially bhi aapka jo spring hai hai na usme zero compression tha aur finally bhi zero compression hai When the block is moving in the backward direction, मैं उस condition की बात कर रहा हूँ then uh, the spring will again comes to its natural length. So दोनों ही case में the elastic potential energy of the spring will be zero. So kinetic energy of the block has to remain constant. So velocity, not velocity, speed of the block will be constant. है ना दोनों ही case में same होगा uh, the speed of the block, but direction will be opposite. Initially the block was moving in this direction. and finally it will uh, you know move in the backward direction so therefore we can say that velocity is not constant but speed will be constant fine i hope it's clear let me know if you still have any doubt we can discuss further okay guys keep working hard best of luck bye